Legend of Total War here with part 10 of my Medieval 2 Total War Let's Play campaign as England, playing as the Reign of King Stephen. Alright, so previously we eliminated the French and have been fighting the Spanish. An order. Alright, so what are we doing now? Um, too soon since the last crusade. There's a uh, English, uh, not an English, an imperial princess here. How old is she? 37. Oh, that's old. Problem is, though, that nobody wants to marry any of my prince, uh, princes. But it's Hungarian one. I know we're at war with Hungary, but... I need to do something. You have something in mind for our people, noble one? I actually need to use diplomacy somewhat in this campaign to keep my bloody family alive because they're just not marrying the local English women. Now I've got a diplomat here. Yes, my lord. I just I just don't know if it's actually she's such a I wench and she's old as well. You, your majesty. Still, the, their options are limited. Um, so let's, let's just do it. Probably best marry, marrying her to the... Hang on, let me just stop that for a second. Because both the heir and the king is um, unmarried. But look, the, the, the heir is young. So let's let's marry marry her to the king. The pleasure is mine, your majesty. It's probably going to cost me a fortune. Fuck. Alright, what if we offer map? Okay, so that's considered very generous, that's good. Still not enough. Um, Alright, looks like we're going to need to make a bit of a a dowry. Let's try 5,000. Oh god. 10,000. I wouldn't do this in a normal campaign. Probably a little bit more is needed. Maybe... Let's try maybe... 16,000. It said balance. It probably should be generous. But let's see how that works. Nine. This is not likely to happen. So pay tribute of... That's like close to 30,000. If we can, we, we should try to... Um, Try and pay less than that, obviously. Let's try 20,000. That's sort of like splitting the difference. I doubt mine Kaiser would have free hope. What the fuck? It that was... Keep handling with me, bitch. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get our relations with them yeah. as high as possible just by doing this. I see something more beneficial, I hope. Yeah, we hope this will be more reasonable. Wait, what? I see no reason why I should work. Let us find middle ground more, yeah? Come on, I'm giving you lots of gifts. Agreed, my Priorities lord. military. Something more beneficial, I hope. Alright, alright, alright. Their enemies are Venice. I was gonna go attack them anyways, but anyway, so if I offer to attack Venice. They they like that. So give that to them as a gift. Yeah. The Reich agrees to your terms, my lord. It's we not improving our relations with them. I see no reason why I should refuse. Thank Let you. us find middle ground more, yeah? Agreed, my lord. Okay, so now we're at amiable. Now how about how about twenty one thousand? That's a that's a bloody good deal, I think. Especially for a filthy wench. Still considered balanced, which is not balanced at all. Fuck it, I'll just give him everything I got. Alright, good. Well, at least, we at least we've got good relations with our only ally. Diplomacy and this day, my lord. We, uh, we've married the king.
This is a really long one. Just, but we've already seen it before. So let's have a look here. Wife is undesirable. Yeah, well, you. I know she wasn't the best, but um, you. It was slim pickings, so you just gotta have to deal with it. Alright, well we're out of cash. Mm, that doesn't really matter too much. Okay, we've got a fort over here we should send someone to go sire. and occupy. The day is ours, sire. This is English soil, man. Hail my king. Maybe you should come over here and deal with this. Yes, Because we can attack them when they're on, on our land. It's it's actually defending sire. ourselves. Alright, I don't see anything else we really need to do in the Middle East. Hail my king. Yeah, get rid of this. As you command, my liege. An honor See that was standing on a on a road. That's oh, no good. But this guy out here standing on a watchtower, victory. that's fine by me. With honor, sire. We shall continue. Got a good amount of income coming through. Orders. Yes, sire. Merging armies, my lord. My lord. Combining forces, sire. Get rid of this if you wouldn't mind. God's servant. Oh, oh. Good, he's got heaps of bloody um piety. Well, seventy percent won't won't revolt. Alright, let's move on. Damn, I didn't think they'd be able to catch up. I should have built a fort on that river. But I should still be able to withdraw from this. And hopefully he can't catch us. We will have our revenge. Okay, if we build a fort across the river as we attack Leon, they won't be able to uh, won't be able to catch up to us. I think I've got an army at Ren as well. If we're giving the Spanish this much hassle, then we shouldn't need to worry about um about Ren again. We need to hire some troops at, at uh, Marseille. My lord, we're besieged. Well, that's for shit. Stupid bloody things. Okay, so, oh good, now we can call the crusade. I think uh, on Venice would be a good idea. But I'll, I'll plan that out in a minute. Let's see. Agent found, yeah, whatever. Mongols seem to be getting stronger. But without any territories. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, so over here is a bit of a concern. Let's... Yeah, we should be fine. I don't think there's any artillery in that army. Doesn't look like it. Although I can't be certain. The next turn you take that without really much of a fight. I'll send you some reinforcements. Fleet ready, sire. Now I want you to come down here and fight the Moors. So this rebel out here sitting on the watchtower, that's absolutely fine. Okay, now. When, yeah, we are at war with them. Alright, let's plan out this crusade. So, we want to make it so that the crusade lasts exactly 10 turns. So, putting it on Milan is not the best choice, because we can take that easily. It's got a large garrison though. So, we go, we've got to plan our path. We come down from Dijon to Milan, then we take Venice, then Zagreb, then Ragusa, then Durazzo, We 
We're not making our way down to, to Crete. Is it even a choice? Uh, the choice... What, 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 Durazzo. Where is it? It's not on the list here. Alright then. Well, Ragusa is the next best thing. Alright, well, we need some better relations with the Pope. Sire. What is Easy enough. Alright, so I'll just pause the recording as I do this, because obviously it is boring as I continue to bribe them with small, small trinkets. Yes, Alright, there we go, so, perfect relations, even though you can actually get a little bit higher than that. So, Ragusa. Good. The Holy Bible may preach peace, but when it is Christendom itself that is threatened, then it is every Christian's duty to defend all that is holy. His Holiness the Pope has called a crusade to reclaim the Holy Lands from the infidel, who would deny Christian pilgrims their right to visit the Holy Places. It is time for the armies of Christendom to put aside their differences and unite under one banner, the sign of the cross, and give back God's children what is rightfully theirs, or die trying. Alright then. Uh, this is a piece of shit army. But once we put them on crusade, we can pick up some Hail mercenaries, I'm sure. My lord. Sire. Orders. That'd actually be pretty good inside that little fort. I put him up there, and you can come down here to maintain garrison. Hail my king. Orders. My lord. Let's merge. Hail my king. Sire. Orders. I kind of want to take just fresh units, but we've got a long crusade to go. We can pick up, we'll merge them along the way and stuff. It'll be fine. Orders. Sire. Peasants are no good. Hail my king. Okay, what do we need? I think that's a good amount of crossbowmen for the time being. Let's go with crusader sergeants. And a pilgrim. Hail my king. With honor, sire. Actually, that would be a good place there for a fort. Yes, my leash. It's on a crossroad there. Yes, my leash. Building T intersection. Just leave the peasants behind, because obviously I don't need them king. with me. My lord. You should go on the crusade as well. My king. I think I already moved him as far as I can, Hail yeah. Should have put him at the beginning yes, of the turn, though. You cannot go on the Command crusade. Me, Hail my king. If you want to stop this, no, you cannot go on crusade. But if you went on crusade, you can come down the south and hit Hungary. And we can make our way down south this way. Yeah, but we can't fight with him manually. That being said, it doesn't look like it's well defended. Like, I was, what I'll do here is just send Sire, these guys down. Oh, hang on. Sire. Okay, they won't be able to make the attack. Send them, because that's Hamburg's no longer a frontier. March send them like this. Sire. My Lord. To war yeah, just push them out of the way. That's fine. The day is I will put you one crusade. Day. My king. Because I want to punish the Hungarians. With honor, sire. Yes, my liege. Making camp here, noble sire. Hail my Little king. Little watchtower here. No, we can't. The rest right, of the that's fine. Force, sire. Assembling a mighty. Also, by having him on crusade, sire. saves us money. Hail my king. Yeah, you go on crusade as well, even though that's. <laughs> You're nowhere near the crusade target, but you can fight against um. Against them. Same with you. Hail my king. Just help to get Hail them where they need king. to be and save me a lot of money. With I don't power, expect this crusade to last ten turns, so we shouldn't get too much desertion out of them. With Hail both of these guys, king. they could 
probably beat this. As you command, my liege. We've already got some siege weapons. We shall prevail in this siege, sir. Hail my king. Problem is though that is a citadel. So that the they get a huge defensive bonus, it's kind of hidden. Might be best just to starve them out. Because if they sell you out, they lose that defensive bonus anyway. Alright, we've got heaps of money to spend now. An order. We shall and we'll have absolutely a fortune next turn. I'm sort of making about 30,000. So we're saving about 10,000 per turn in uh, expenses because of the crusade, which will last a reasonable amount of time. Need the money. Okay, Dublin public order is pretty good. We can afford to tax it a bit higher. Well, there goes pretty much all of our cash. No, that's probably not a good idea. Actually, no, it wouldn't cause any more public order problems because they've already got the max amount of squalor. So that'd just increase their income slightly. The problem here is religious unrest. Okay, you shouldn't have any problem getting to Milan next turn. Moving on. It's okay, we sent reinforcements and they'll be able to defeat that. You're asking for peace because... I don't know if I'd accept that. Well, actually, yeah. I, did I recruit units at Marseille? I'm pretty sure I did. The enemy has surrounded us. We are besieged. Come on, Poland, give it a rest. Either send a proper army or fuck off. The enemy lay siege to our people, sire. Surely the Pope is going to, going to get pissed off at them for this. I mean, I know they're allies. My lord, we're besieged. I might just have to suffer an excommunication after the Crusade in order to finish off Poland. And then again, having a crusade, having being excommunicated. And having a, a, it's like a separate empire in the south there, in the in the Middle East. That's uh, not a good thing. Because we need every bit of public order we can get. Petros Johanna. Nope. Yes, because that'll provide public health. So they haven't had any children yet. They need to get on with it. Fuck your damn wife. And pay half a bloody... Uh, well, entire year's worth of income just for you to just look at her. She's not much to look at anyway. I mean, the problem is wife is undesirable trait means that they're probably not going to have children or not that many children. I mean, she's old as well. It's a real, it was a really bad deal, but she's the only fucking princess I could find. they wish they'd never been born, sire. Good stuff with those two men. General's bodyguard performed horribly in order to resolve. <laughs> Victory! Victory! These people now kneel before us, my lord. So I'm just trying to think, what would Stephen do? Stephen, Stephen doesn't like the Spanish because the Spanish betrayed us. But these people are Christians, so and he's like half chivalrous. But I think we need to send them a message that their behavior was unacceptable, so sack it. And uh, also, his his personal preference would have been to sack it. But we're not role-playing as him. Don't 
don't I don't need multiple Master Thief skills. If you can get yes. rid of this guy here, that would be good. Good. So sick of seeing heretics everywhere. In my opinion, that if you stop hiring priests, the number of um, heretics that show up reduces by quite a bit. Hail my king! Okay, I still think we should just keep starving that out, but you need to push this guy away. As you will, oh, my you king. fucking idiot! Surely you could have pathfind better than that. Well, whatever. Because if I was to attack that, I mean, will, sire, there is a good chance of victory, but I don't know. We've got we've got some really good units here. Hail my king. Hail my Save four king. turns. Fuck it, let's just do it. What the fuck? Our guy's not coming in. Alright, well, it still worked. By God's will, we have triumphed! My lord, our courage and honor have conquered! They're Muslims, so sack the fucking settlement. Our piety demands it. Wait, you're, you're not the king. How, how pious is the king? King. Yeah, and he's, he's like he would never authorize extermination, but he's not so chivalrous that he wouldn't sack a settlement. Hail my king. If he was full chivalrous, then that'd be a different story. Hail okay, now you can king. go off and do that. Um, let's see here. Leave behind unit you know, of those dipshits. Yes. Hail my king. Hail my king. With hail my king. As you will, my king, to battle. Ransom them. Good. That's what I like to say. Because I don't want the money. I want them dead. But chivalry demands that we offer them ransom. Now, where should we next go? So, they're at Nicaea over here. We're at war with the Byzantines, aren't we? So, they make a good buffer with them. Because I, I really don't want to be dealing with the Byzantines. We could make our way up here, but the thing is, if we go too far up north, we'll probably come too far up north. We'll, co we'll come into contact with the uh, with the Mongols. I don't want, I don't want any of that shit king. right now. Hail my king! Hail my king! Hail my king! Hail my king! Sorry, they keep saying the same fucking thing. Um, yes. Yes, let's make our way up to Yerevan. With honor, sire. Hail my king. Yes, my liege. Good spot here for a fort. With honor, sire. Hail my Yeah, leave king. that unit behind. Hail my king. Hail my king. Hail my ah. king. Yes, my liege. You gonna beat him again? As Go for you it. Command, my liege. Yes. Honorable, glorious victory! Hail my king! Actually, if you could Hail my king. come out over Hail here and build a watchtower, that would be Leaving very useful for us. Force, sire. Yes, my liege. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Hail my king! Now over here. Yala. They That's might make the attack, they end. might not. So you might have to actually recapture the city. Yes. We have marched our limit today, sire. Hail my king. Lost a bit of chivalry on that one, but that's okay. Hail my Gotta make sure we don't have desert desertion, even though we're heading towards the crusade target. It's just that's what happens. Um So Milan here. Large garrison in there. That's okay, that'll just make for an interesting fight. As you will, my king, to battle. Laying siege, noble Odds aren't actually in our favour. Pretty much evenly matched man for man. They've got we've got ten extra men than them. The thing is these Pavis crossbow militia, they're they're actually pretty good in, in order resolve because they've got high high defences and they're missile units. And the Italian spear militia is better than everyone else's. We have trebuchets. We can bomb the fuck out of them. All right, let's do that. Glory to your name, sire. We attack. 
So if we manage to win this, this will be a glorious victory. Even if we lose the entire army, we can rebuild it very quickly. For my bravery, even though I say it as one who comes from a nation of brave men. Thus, I have every confidence that we will shortly crush our enemies. Those Venetians can count money faster than a Norwich fishwife. Let's see how fast they can count their dead. Now, lads, this will need courage. We must advance into a hail of missiles, and then kill them. And so, the enemy. By St. George, and it seems unfair to call on him for this, I'll have no cunning plan ruined by poor execution of your part. This time, when an order comes, obey it, or I'll know why. Fight like Englishmen, and all will be well! Okay, then. Alright, let's see. Coming through or attacking here is a bit of a kill zone. What if we came over this side? Yeah, this side doesn't have a kill zone. Alright, we should attack here. And stay a fair bit back because of their long range missiles. Well, I didn't leave any troops over there, so I don't know why they're all there. Now, because they've got so many archers, it would certainly benefit us to get the cavalry in to, to, uh, to fight them as soon as possible. But making sure, of course, that there are no spearmen around them when doing so. Because cavalry crush missile units. Ancient Jericho, the walls fall before the righteous. Send our men through to slay our ungodly foe. Alright, um, I don't think we need multiple breaches right now. Alright, you guys to get yourselves over to here. If yes, you gotta run, you gotta move fast. Well, the enemy are not organized. If we can get them in here, we might be able to bomb the, the town square. Is with us today. We've captured the enemy's walls. Right, now, what have we got around here? Spear militia. Great. Okay, here's a little present for us. And what's the path we can take to get to it? Okay, that's doable. There's another unit over here as well. Pervis crossbowmen, take him out. Okay, so as long as they're not fighting any spears, they're fine. Unfortunately, you just you can't charge into them while in the sight. Side of a city, but gotta do it individually do it. Got to pull through because you don't want them just fighting like a normal fight. You want them to, to break their formations because otherwise they're actually going to shoot at us. Come on, move over here because that's the role of cavalry to break enemy formations and then break their morale. And you do that by swarming them. That whooped their ass. Okay, what have we got coming in over here? Pervis crossbowman militia. Okay, we should put some of these guys up on the walls here. Come on, do as you told, move it. I want 
to get into combat with them, because otherwise they're going to keep shooting at us. So, yep, more police crossbowmen, take them out. It's good, our crossbowmen so far have done a really good job. Got to be very careful when using trebuchet shots, if we're going to like shoot into this. Do not use flaming shot, because we're very likely to hit our own troops. If we use standard shot, it's it's less likely, but it's still possible. So we're gonna break through their formation. See if some of these rocks are landing. Okay, you're in position. Fire at will. Don't really care too much if we're missing, as long as we're not hitting our own troops. I think we did that. Likely pilgrims are just up the front. Okay, what do we got over here? Catapults. Go kill them. Okay, hang on. There's a unit over this way. Some spear militia. I wouldn't worry about them. Try and aim for, for this guy over here. It's good. Just the odd kill is better than nothing. Good. While they're in melee combat, the archers are still able to shoot. Keep shooting. I don't care if you're shooting some of our own men. More of them will survive if we keep shooting. I'm gonna break their formations. I mean, yeah, flaming shot would do more damage, but it's so likely that we would hit our own troops. So yeah, just keep this up. At the end of the day, they get hit with one of these rocks and they pretty much break straight away. Any chance we could... No, it's too far away. Okay, we've got another unit over here. What are those? Dismount feudal knights, leave them be. What are these? Mercenary spearmen, don't want to mess with them. Okay, make your way back over here. Balance of power is now in our favour. So press the attack. Got the advantage here. Troops. All right, stop that. You need to move up to here if you want to start shooting again. And you guys, up to here. Now, do they have any units? Uh, nope. Up down there. So these guys here are in skill trim. Why don't I send a unit of send these guys over here to just shoot the crap out of them? Yeah, our general's got a lot of command, so these guys aren't going to break anytime soon.
just seeing if we can get out any other sort of advantages right now. Come on, I gave you an order, come over here. Sometimes you gotta give it to him twice. Alright, try and aim for the general. That's not their faction leader, is it? I hope not, let me just check. No, no, no way. He would have way more bodyguard than that. Because if it's their faction leader and we kill him, it ends the crusade. Okay, you should stop. Start shooting from here. Try to shoot the back of them. Good, kill the few of their bodyguard with those rocks. The shots are coming in at a nice angle as well. That's all working out nicely. I don't know why they put themselves into the skills from there. The cavalry weren't going to attack them in the first place. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Come on, you guys are supposed to be shooting over here. I don't give they overshoot it, but don't undershoot it and hit our own troops. Now I don't want to move my guys around over here because I'm trying to shoot them. Good, they're just sucking it up like a bitch. That's the way I like it. Point using the cavalry. Got the trebuchet, they're, they're doing a bit of damage. I really, really can't justify using flaming shot though, because we've got more troops than them. Much more damage can be done to us than, than them. That's it, taking out this general's bodyguard without even getting a single one of my guys killed in the process. Well, hopefully. So these guys are getting no kills. You 
guys can move up a little bit. Shoot the mercenary spearman now, because this guy's pretty much dead. Doesn't matter about killing him, because they're not going to break. Okay, you took him out. Alright, let's send you around this way here. Maybe shoot them at the flanks. Tidings. The enemy general lies dead. We've sent the base cur to hell. Okay, they don't have a clear angle there. Well, look, we've won this battle by a, a huge margin. We didn't even lose half of our men. Might end up losing a quarter, but then again, some of them will get some recovery. It, I think it largely came down to the fact that the uh, the enemy had so many, excuse me, so many missile units, and weren't able to make use of them. All right, I think this needs to stop. Is they'll get the best kills because um should need to their flanks. My lord, our men are in command of the city. Or maybe not. Damn it. Come on. Okay, you guys should stop shooting now. There's only a handful of them left. By the grace of God! So here we go, 35%, just a lot right at the end there. Let all who remember this day, remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. That's good, we've crushed, well, essentially, a superior army. Our army's still intact, and we get Milan back. Glory, honor, victory! Yeah, there's still victory English people living here, so we shouldn't sack it. Noble conquest. Pick myself up another trebuchet. Bit overkill, don't really need it. Okay, can we keep moving on to Venice? We couldn't quite make it there with the trebuchets, but we can lay siege. Plus I can send some of these guys over here. Somebody's beaten to shit in terms of his infantry. But the cavalry's still in good shape. Probably best leaving him in a fort. Most of these units can be left inside of forts. Now they're just badly damaged. Hail my king! Okay, 
Okay, we can build a fort here. That should yes, be alright. Ooh. Yeah, we need our artillery for that. If we're gonna, if we're gonna attack that. Alright, what else have we got available here? We may actually need to disband some units, because this is this is gonna be pretty heavy duty. Actually, you should stand on the bridge this turn. Just in case they attack. And also, they're coming to, to help us. Well, whatever. Um, I mean, some of these units are just too badly damaged for us to keep. Um, so, spend this one, this one, this one. Keep them because they're knights. I don't. I'll keep that one for the fort. So, I've got five spaces. We'll get these. And these need some spearmen. Okay, cool. If they were to attack us over the fort here, they'd get crushed. We will see you undone. Hail my king. That's right, you're supposed to be moving on to take Vienna. Hail my king. Because they're excommunicated. It's poorly defended, victory. so it's a perfect opportunity. Hail my king. Battle will resolve our differences. Okay, we've got a few crappy units here that we can maybe leave inside of a fort. Yes, my liege. All right, build a fort here. At once, Which unit should we put in? The Building longbows. The They're not too expensive, so yeah, that should be fine. Flagellants. Don't often see them. Yeah, why not? They're bloody cheap. As you will, my king, to battle. Laying siege, noble sire. We Stupid shall Poland. How's how's my relation? Fucking dumbass Polish. All right. Um, sire. I think the cavalry need to come over here and stop this. Wh which ones? Okay, well they're not able to make an assault. So that we got eight turns to fix that up. Battle will resolve our differences. As you wish, sire. Ransom them. The day is ours, sire. By your command, my lord. Yes. Good. We didn't lose any relation with the Pope because of that. Which would have been silly, because just defending our own goddamn territory. King. Okay, that's all looking good. Um, the settlement still needs to grow, but at the same time, I need the money. A bit of unrest. Build an abbey. Okay, well, I got heaps of cash, so let's build, and we should be able to build in most of the settlements that we've got. So I'm just focused on building cheap shit in like the um, the castles, just so it's building something. Because there's not much you can build there for economy. I, w I do need more cash because the crusade is not going to last forever. So we need to make make preparations for when it ends. Cairo still needs a little bit more public order. It's just not quite good enough there. It's not costing anything here because all of their troops are free upkeep there. So that's that's its true income. But a revolt would be a problem. I don't want to have to put year, uh, monthly races on.
I didn't even get halfway through the list, but then again, that was an expensive building. Fortress at Aleppo, I guess that could be useful. And I've got no cash left. A lot of these settlements need to need to grow. Hail my king! Okay, we're seeing 52 settlements. What else are we doing? How old is he? We're going to get a lot of episodes out of him. All right, so we've taken this. What do we want to do with it now, though? I could put them on crusade and send them over to fight the Moors. Hi, sire. Yes, sir. Full fleet ready, sire. Admiring the enemy. Oh, they were, oh, I didn't fulfill that mission. Well, they've still got time to do it. So I've put them on the crusade, send them down here to Lisbon. It doesn't look like it's well defended. It seems like a good choice. But we have to cross over this way. Because the river's... Is that a river there? Let me just see. Yeah, no, we can't cross there. Okay, I'm out of cash, so I'm going to need to find where I built something and cancel it. The settlement's not under any threat, so we should be fine. An order, my lord. But hang on, if we we sacked the settlement, didn't we? Okay, let's reorganize this firstly. Okay, public order is not an issue. Combining forces, sire. Sire. Joining forces, my lord. No, this is an order resolve army, so best go with spearmen. My lord. By your command. Put the watchtower over sire. here. Splitting our forces, sire. Orders. Orders. Yes, sire. Sire. Merging a fort army. here would be good, but I don't really have any units I want to put in there. That's fine. Let's just keep moving. Yes, we shall continue tomorrow. So yeah, sir. that's that's really going to increase our income by having we'll most of our armies on crusade. Moving on. I mean, if they take take the settlement back, it, it didn't cost us anything to take it, so it's not a big deal. The enemy lay siege to our people, sire. I really hope they don't move their army away from that that river crossing. I want to take it. That'll be a good battle as well. There's a Russian princess. Maybe I should have purchased her. Well I can still get her for the um for the for the air. But I'll need to hire a diplomat there. And it'd be a good opportunity also to get um, an alliance with Russia. One of the only people that we're not at war with. Motherfucker. I was hoping they wouldn't. Then again, they got a lot of cavalry here. That's going to go shit against this. We might actually win this. Yeah. Ransom them. Okay, well, our army is going to be able to stop that, so that's okay. Fuck off, bloody Poland. The enemy has surrounded us. We are besieged. I wonder how much money I'd have to send them in order for them to accept the peace treaty. Probably somewhere in the vicinity of like bloody a hundred thousand. Good thing I built the fort there because that would have stopped us. The enemy lay siege to our people, sire. Looks like we will have that river crossing battle. Despicable treachery. Ah, oh, it's no big deal. Let's get another one. 
Some people bribe my armies to get pissed off. Diplomats are fuck, who cares? Alright. Orders. So we can make it to Lisbon, but we don't know what's waiting for us there. Marching, sir. As you command. Nothing. Yes, sir. Moving to crush the enemy. Besieging the cowards, Malaysia. So that'll be an easy win there. Each That's good. Waiting to breach and butcher, How sir. many Muslims are here? Seventy-six percent. Okay. I think that deserves a bit of a sacking. I think. Alright, so we blocked the Holy Roman Empire from making the attack on here because I didn't want them to. I want to do this. There's an opportunity for a draw out as well. They've got trebuchets as well. Maybe I should have hired some more here. Because I had access to them. I'm just hoping they don't have any in this army. Catapult doesn't matter too much. Hail my king. Alright, now. First things first. Yes. Said we're gonna build a fort here. Yes, my Leave the crossbowmen there. We'll hire another crossbow. Hail my king. Because we're going to need them for a uh, river crossing battle. Okay, the odds are actually not in our favour, yet again. Let's have a look at his traits. Have a look at it for a little while. Soft judge. Mm, that's not like me. Um, Alright then, let's do this. So, up against here we've got a catapult. And they got a lot of trash in there. Oh, we're not up against their king, are we? Okay, good. Because if we kill their king, the crusade ends. Muster your courage, men! We march into battle! service like a true Englishman. Perhaps today I will gain another scar if that is God's will. I am certain, however, that I will strive to gain another victory. The Venetians are all bankers. They would not recognize a soldier if he bared his ass in the market square. the last take heart if you die you die in the company of honest Englishmen there is no better place to end your days but knowing this you can put aside thoughts of death that way even as your heart quails you will seem brave and your bravery will inspire your fellows after all this works for me <laughs> Okay then, let's see. I'm not sure the trebuchet... Hang on, I should be able to tell, based on that green arrow. Okay, well they can shoot from here, I don't know if they'll be able to get to the other side though. They're up on a high ground here, actually. No, 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 we want it to be about here. Yeah, it would be good to use flaming shot, I don't know, they might try and cross over, just... I have seen, like once or twice, trebuchet shoot... Of a flaming shot and go boom right into the front of our men. And that's pissed me off so much when that happened. So keep these guys back for the time being. Because they want to bomb them. Don't think they're catapults to be able to reach us. The accuracy of Fleming Shot is just... It's like 0% accurate. Works well against big armies. Reinforcements delayed. Now, come on, my computer can handle a larger battle. 
Probably just need to kill a few of them, and then they'll they'll show up. See, not a single shot has hit yet. Yes, they do more damage per shot, but if they don't land a hit, what's the point? Our crossbowmen should actually be better than this as well. But let's use up our ammunition with the trebuchet first. Okay, there we go. Now we're still getting some shots. Now, I don't know if experience actually increases their accuracy. I've heard that it does, but it's hard to tell because it could just be based off luck. Because there is no accuracy uh, trait. So how have they gone for kills so far? 2%. And everything's on loose formation now, so... They really want to waste our ammo, and that's fine. Alright, look. We're, we're getting nowhere with this. It's so fucking inaccurate. It doesn't really matter if they're in loose formation like that. Let's bring... Let's bring our guys up. I don't think they've got any long-range missiles, or at least not up the front. Yeah, see, being in loose formation here really does nothing, because if we miss this one, we hit them. That's why I often don't bother with loose formation, it's really not going to save many of them. Hey, if they're happy to just sit there and take it, that's fine by me. Who are they shooting at? Okay, yep. Closer. Do I get too close or else I'll fire back? Okay, should the Italian spear militia, because that way, yeah, there's a chance of hitting the general's bodyguard back here. Those catapults are really inaccurate. Fuck, that's one shot there, killed 20 of my men. Doesn't matter, we, we've... These guys here have already done their worst, so it's okay. Probably wondering if loose formation here might have been better. Presents a bigger target. You see, one of these shots out of like 20 is here. Bringing in reinforcements. Okay, now that they feel like they might have the advantage, which they would have lost because of those that were dead already. Okay, you can, you can stand back. Okay, we got we got some buttholes coming over. So you lost twenty five men, but you you must have killed at least three hundred of them. All right, they they're about. Are they going to cross? Doesn't look like it. A 
If I was in their position, defending against this, with no way of shooting back, to be honest, I probably wouldn't have fought this battle if it was rolls reversed. Even with the bounce of power in our favour, we have a tactical advantage, which is why I was keen to fight it. Hang on, they've got trebuchets of their own. I may need to go off a flaming shot and use standard shot in order to try and hit that. using oops, standard shot. I'm going to go into loose formation here, because I'm just aiming at these guys. Loose formation's a pain. Let's see how that goes. Okay, if they're starting to come forward, man, if we can get a shot right in, into this blob here, that'd be awesome. There's always a chance they might even shoot their own troops. There's actually always a chance I might shoot my own troops as well. Okay, time for you guys to move down a little bit. Give us a good shot right in here. Fuck it, just, just use standard shot then. I just need them to make some hits. I need to get back. They're going back now. It's a bit silly. Well, they lost a lot more men making that half fast attempt to cross than I did. Still being inaccurate. All right, you come back over here. We're gonna try and get them to cross over again. Formation or else this is not going to work with these guys in the back here. Okay, 
Looks like they're preparing to come back over. Man, we're taking a bit of damage here, though. Ooh, that was a nice shot right there. That was really nice. Oh, good, we took out one of their trebuchets as well. What are, what's going on over here? Oh, they took out one of my tributaries as well. Oh, well. So, 9 to 38%. Got to be careful. We can't just charge right into that because if we if we send a huge number of troops across this bridge, and they know this as well, we're flaming sure we'll just get rid of them with a couple of shots. So at the very least, wait for them to run out of ammo. I don't think these two here need to be in loose formation anymore. It's just not not helping. Oh, damn, that was painful. But you know, it's happening to both sides. Both getting hammered by artillery. Too bad there's no other way for my cavalry to get across. You know they brought in their um, their Pervis crossbowmen with their reinforced army. Now they can actually fire back at us. It's a bit of a pain. But are they actually shooting from there? That's a nice shot. Yep, that's good. But you're not, so you should move a little bit further over here. Hopefully you can shoot them on the other, other side of the, uh, the river. The fuck are you doing? I gave you an order. Move, move over here. Damn, they're all dying and they've still got heaps of ammo. Still winning by a lot. The the balance of power's even. Alright, let's go back to standard shot now. I'm gonna try and aim here because I want to take out these catapults. No, they're not they're not getting any chance to shoot. Far more accurate, it's a standard shot. Bouncer power is moving slightly in our favour.
It's possible that these catapults have actually run out of ammo because they're not they're not using them anymore. Because they fire faster than trebuchets. He's getting loads of kills, but you're getting none. So, move in closer and shoot them. And it's just not within range. Fuck it, go back to flaming shot. You've only got a few shots left. Make it count. After we're out of ammo, we'll um, we'll push water. Yeah, they've they've run out of ammo on the catapults. Half of their army lost in the skirmish. Yeah, I wouldn't mind shooting them with a cow. Let's hope a shot doesn't land on that. It's gonna suck otherwise. Ooh, that was close. Cause I could still lose this battle if 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 um, too many shots hit them. Okay, that's enough. That's that's a good job there. Always a chance might shoot into here. Are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, they're shaken, so let's let's send these guys in. Send the cavalry in to try and break them and run them all down. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. And here. Doesn't look like that wants to. Yeah, they still want to shoot. Good, good, good. Here we go. Big old mass route. You gotta pull through. Don't let these guys get away. force remains. It. Big hard push. Oh, has no honor. No, 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 you gotta kill him. You gotta capture him at least. Our men have captured the Good, because we'll ransom them after this, and if it's too high, they, they won't accept the ransom. They're just all breaking like crazy now. Yeah, put a stop to these trebuchet. It's three enemy generals down. I think that that's it. That's all of them. We got to capture them all. Foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Do not stand around, sucking your thumbs. Get in there, capture them. Let's see how rich these Venetians are. They can afford this ransom. Because it's going to be expensive. Mm, 
Yeah, you let a few of them get away, there's not that many. Okay, so looking at that, it says 95%, but, um, oh shit, look at this. Don't let them get away. I don't know if they'll be able to catch him. You got a couple of them, that's better than nothing. Still, not very many of the enemy got away. So what would we lose? Third of By our forces. Grace of God, our foe is utterly vanquished. Okay, if they don't accept the ransom, they're day. crushed. Because remember they lost everything. Except for one man. Glorious victory. Oh, all of them captured. Let's see if they can afford this. Oh, motherfucker. I thought they were wiped out. Guess not. Yeah, okay. Took a bit of damage, but nothing that we can't recover on the go. I mean, apart from, like, dismounted knights, obviously. Hail my king. As you will, my king, to battle. Laying siege, noble sire. We shall prevail in this siege, sire. As you command, my liege. All right, this should be pretty easy. Glory to your name, sire. We attack. I understand. It said there was 150 men remaining out of 1,700, which means we killed 90% of them. We got rid of all their generals, so how did these guys come back? I don't know. Maybe it's because they didn't execute them, I just ransomed them. I mean, they didn't accept the ransom, so I don't know. And so, to battle. Strike them all down, and God will forgive our sins. Do this. Alright, let's just get our melee infantry to deal with this. Ballista Tower was nice. They won't be able to make use of it because my trebuchet. Well, yeah, they're just going to go straight to the town square. They don't have enough units to defend against us. We've breached our enemy's walls. Yeah, they don't have many men, and they're they're already losing some just on the walls here. I'm not too fussed about how how much this is going to cost to repair. I don't want to lose any men. Well, oh well. The Lord is with us. The enemy general has no honor. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, just all that attack. Go to the town square. Let's be done with this.
Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well and make it so he can see us defeat the rest of his army. By St. George, our men have taken control of the city. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of... Glory, honor, victory! Okay, so let's have a think about this. He has granted us victory! That's a lot of money if we were to sack that. But they are Christian. Oh, the, the public order's not good. Potential for revolt. That guy's not an idiot. And the Venetians plundered um, Milan a little while ago. I think they exterminated the population, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we'll sack it. Anyway, his, his amount of chivalry allows for it. Very high population. It's still high enough that we can go straight to huge stone walls. We got so much out of sacking it that we can afford to build that buddy three times over and just lower the public order because we need to leave I lowered the taxes I mean Orders. we could stay here and retrain these trebuchets though okay you Hail need to take with this by your will sire we shall engage by God's will, we oh, have they've been child. reconciled. We killed their king. Victory, oh well. My liege. A most noble conquest. Sack them. Teach them a lesson. So we can get out. Standing with the Pope. We probably lost a little bit for sacking it. But that's okay. We can no longer use this crusade to fight against them. However. Hmm. Well, we're pretty close to Zagreb. So I don't expect that these guys will be able to, to hold Vienna for too long. But, you know, we made a bit of money just by sacking it, so that's better. Fuck me, they leave these cinemas in such bad shape. But then again, maybe I did damage it by water resolving Because that happens. Hail my king. With honor, sire. I want to watch Tower out here. Even if we don't end up holding the region for now, we'll get it again another time. Hail my king. Assembling a mighty host of your troops, sire. As you will, my king, to battle. Laying siege, noble sire. So yeah, the question is, do we... Do we stay here with these trebuchets or not? These guys are now blocking our way. It might be best if we just hire a ship. To take us straight to Ragusa. Hail my king. Okay, we'll need a mercenary ship because that's not available here. Hail my king. Okay, I'm just thinking it might be a good idea to send a scout ship around the place. Um, actually, no, fuck it. We got Hail money. My king. Just um, go all out. If we Hmm. Yeah, I'll just send a scout to go and have a look, firstly, to make sure the path is clear. A fine day to sail. Set sail. A fine day Maybe I should be hiring it next turn, because we're a little bit low on movement. So just... Take the... Let's reorganize them. Take them. Because I don't know if I turned them off and on the crusade yet. And you can stay there. So we'll retrain the trebuchets and these. 
you can get moving towards Ragusa next and there's plenty of time left on the Crusade. In fact, maybe we'll, we'll even bypass Ragusa, hit to Durazzo, and then come back for Ragusa. They must have lost the majority of their army because they had a big stack here and more than a full stack at Venice. And they've lost all of that now. It's all dead. We also need to know where their king is so that we can avoid him. My lord. To battle it is then, sire. Yeah, you better run, bitch. Glorious okay, this this can't stay here. Get rid of him. To war then, sire. Glorious trade. victory is ours, sire. Orders. Yeah, you come up here. Yes, the sir. crusade will be over soon, and then Continue I want you to go and besiege Bern. Command me, sire. All right. Well, we're past an hour and a half here, so this is a good opportunity to end the episode. So we are on fifty-four settlements now. So we've taken, I think, five this episode. The stuff that's oh man, that's going to be a pain. Well, that, what we can do is just besiege it. Might just yes, do this first. My As you command, my liege, hail my king with honor, sire. So you reinforce while you. my king. Yep. Hire them just because. Hail Why not? King. Hail my king. So yeah, we wouldn't want to assault that, but. We shall engage. Starving them out shouldn't be a problem. They we might send some troops down here from, sea, from there. So that'll take eight turns to surrender. But even if just keeping the Turks busy for the time being, that's that's fine. I mean, we can easily rebuild our forces, provided the generals don't die. Um, public order here is not great. But once we've, once we've um, done the, uh, the crusade, that'll fix up public order everywhere. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part 11 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.